hey guys welcome back so today's tutorial is on this warm smoky eye this is look number two from my smoky eye series if you want to see how i got this look then obviously you have to keep watching but make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't just yet do so today follow my other social media and watch my previous videos okay let's begin with my eye already primed and set, the first eyeshadow I'm going to use is Makeup Geeks Beaches in Cream and I'm using a Morphe E27 blending brush. I'm going to place Beaches in Cream on my entire lid. Once I'm done with that shade, I'm going to hop right onto the crease. Now I'm using Morocco by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. I'm going to place Morocco onto my upper crease and I'm just blending it back and forth with small circular motions again this is my transition shade the brush i'm using today is a luxie 205 tapered blending brush now that i'm happy the way morocco looks on my upper crease i want to deepen my crease so i'm gonna go in with makeup geeks bitten on a luxie 229 tapered blending brush i think morocco and bitten are very pretty shades that complement each other they're very warm and i just love them together so like i said i'm just gonna deepen my crease i'm going to stay a little bit under morocco and i'm doing the same thing small circular motions back and forth here i just want to blend out any harsh lines i've just created so i'm going back to that morphe e27 blending brush i don't have any extra product but i'm sure there's some of that beaches and cream still left in it next i'm adding a little bit more of eye primer because i want to make sure this eyeshadow sticks to my eyelid so i'm using what am i using wet and wild's fergie as my eye primer for the black eyeshadow i'm using makeup geeks corrupt uh, the brush I'm using is a BH Cosmetics flat shader brush and I'm just going to be packing this right on the lid. Right now I'm just sticking to the areas where I place the primer. You're also going to see me go up a little bit more into the crease. So I'm just packing on this eyeshadow. Um, any spots that I feel that I need more, I'm going to grab more and just pack it on. When I have very little eyeshadow left on the brush, I'm going to bring it up onto the crease and I'm going to softly and carefully start blending downwards just to make sure I have like it, it looks nice and smoky instead of a really harsh line. This will help you blend out that crease in a little bit. So now I'm working on blending out that crease. So I went back to that Luxie 229 tapered blending brush and the eyeshadow bitten. And I'm just going to go back and forth in small circular motions and start blending that out. For the next few minutes, you're gonna see me go back to the same brushes. So I'm gonna go back to that Luxie 205 tapered blending brush in Morocco. I'm also gonna go back to that BH Cosmetics flat shader brush and Makeup Geeks Corrupt and back and forth with all my brushes until I'm happy with the transitions that I'm getting. Once I'm done with all the blending, I'm going to grab a wipe and I'm going to wipe off any fallout that might have fallen onto my face. Make sure all that is clean. I'm also going to apply the rest of my makeup off camera. For my eyeliner, I'm using LA Girls Endless Semi-Permanent Eyeliner. I'm placing this eyeliner on my waterline and I'm also tight lining with it. Going back to Makeup Geeks Corrupt, I'm gonna be placing Corrupt on my lower lash line and the brush I'm using is a Morphe M432 brush. For my lower lash line transition, I'm going to take Makeup Geeks Bitten and Anastasia's Morocco. I'm going to combine these two shades on a Makeup Geek pointed crease brush and I'm going to buff this right under Corrupt. And to tie everything up, I'm going back to Makeup Geeks Beaches and Cream on a Royal and Lang Nickel Revolution BX90 brush and I'm just going to buff everything out. 
for mascara I'm using Rimmel London's Lash Accelerator Mascara. I'm also going to be applying some falsies. Today I'm using House of Lashes Feline. And here's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this warm, smoky eye. Like I've said, this is the second look out of my Week of Smoky Eye series. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. You guys, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Watch my previous videos and follow my other social media. Until next time, hugs and kisses. Bye.